ride. Happy cow. Hi, this is Seamus Dever, and you're watching Ecorazzi. Hi, Juliana. Hi. Nice to meet you, Juliana. Nice to meet you, Seamus. Nice to meet you. How yes. Are you? I heard you two are vegetarians. Yeah, true. It is very they, true. Yeah, these are not that rumors. is amazing. This is I can 21 year vegan you're talking to. Hey, okay. congratulations. Yeah. I've uh, made it. 11 years for me and 10 years for yourself? Yeah, I guess so. No, I'm almost on 10 and you're almost on 9. There you go. That's right. Yeah. I'm yeah, a yeah. year yeah. behind. She's a year behind. Yeah. It took a year to catch up. So you two play a married couple on television and a married couple at home. Is that really difficult to play a married couple as actor and actress? No, no, not really. You don't, have, you don't have to act much, do you? We don't. We don't have to have the like the thing of like now we should kiss, right? Or it's you know, like, yeah, sort I know. of that's like that's one of the fun things. Like we just did a the episode that's airing on Monday. We did yeah. this scene where uh, it was the opening scene of the show, and like we didn't have to worry. I'm, you know, like Get a little closer. A better life. You know, uh, you know. Sometimes it's like when you first meet an actor and you're like, okay, is it all right? You know, we're already like, hey, baby. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you sort of like you don't take that. It's very natural. Like, yeah, good, absolutely. excellent chemistry. <laughs> I can only imagine. Only imagine. So what brings you two to the Genesis Awards tonight? Um, well, you know, animal causes are near and dear to our hearts. Uh, I presented last year, and I was so thankful to be asked back um, and to present again. So, it, And I met a lot of people last year, and actually raised a lot of awareness in our own life. Um, you know, I think since last year, I've been a little bit more aware about the products that I use, just something simple like shampoo and conditioner and making sure those aren't tested on, on beagles because there, there was a big story last year about that and we have a beagle at home so it's sort of like this hits close to home and we should do very simple things to pay attention to the, the products that we buy and, and maybe we can advocate change through that. So what keeps you two from becoming vegan? We like cheese. It's cheese. It's cheese. <laughs> cheese is the only thing keeping but us from the... the caveat is, you know, like, we only get, like, organic raw cheese yeah. that's from, you know, grass-fed um, animals that are not in cages. It goes bad really that, quickly, so you have mostly, to eat it fast. Mostly live in Europe, where but. cows are so happy. They want to give you their cheese. Have you have you tried vegan cheese yet? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we actually... It's good, but I try to stay away from soy. I try not to do too much soy. The, it's one yeah, of those things. We also things, get so. the one that's made from cassava, and I actually yeah. make a lot of uh, vegan cheese at home, because we have a Vitamix, so I'll make yes. nut cheese. Yeah. Let me, let me recommend a book. It's called Artisan Vegan Cheese by Miyoko Shinner. She's going to have a show on PBS starting next month called The Vegan Mashup. She's a friend of mine. She's got an amazing book that's out right now. I went to a party at the Natural Products Expo two weeks ago, had the most amazing aged vegan cheese. And it was great. It yes. didn't taste like... It was... I, in fact, I asked her, I said, Miyoko, is this real? Is this, is this real cheese or is this vegan? She goes, it's my vegan stuff. I could not believe it. So what's coming down the line in the future is going to be amazing vegan cheeses. Okay. Not that there aren't some now, but there's going to be that aged great cheese that we all all miss as vegans. Yeah, exactly. Like cuz that's a big thing. It's sort of one of those things that I think that I think it's yeah, literally cheese. I think Julie put her <laughs> put her finger on it. Cheese is literally the reason why we haven't became vegans. Yes, yes. Yeah. I can imagine. So, do you own pets? Of course, yeah. We have two rescue dogs. Two rescue dogs. Have you owned any dogs that aren't rescues before? Not no. in my life. No, yeah, because good. I mean with all the it's it's you know, one of those things like for like all the animals in the world, I, I don't think there's ever been one of those things where you can't get an animal that you like, oh, well, I have to go buy this one or I have to go to a pet store. Um, they always just sort of show up and be in abundance. So it's sort of like, okay, well. Yeah, how can you not? It's yeah. I, and I like, I cannot look at Pet Finder or half of Facebook because we would have maybe 50 dogs or I would just be crying every day. So yeah. I'm just like, we gotta save them all. Absolutely. Yeah. So what are two things that are going on with you that you haven't talked about before that you'd really like to get out? Because now this is the time to do it. <laughs> Two things Go for I, it. Um, uh, two things. I'm actually working on a travel show, which I'm really excited about. And so traveling the world, which is also another great thing to raise awareness about. Because I think once you get to know your neighbors all over the planet, you kind of become a better global citizen. Are you going to give it a little bit of a vegetarian edge? Or? Well, anytime I'm on screen, no meat will be eaten. So, yeah, yes, yeah. I uh, probably have to. So, uh, yeah. like, surviving vegetarian but you in know the Middle what? East. No, it's just, a, I was, was just in Jordan I was just in Jordan weeks. for a couple weeks. Amazing vegetarian food. Amazing. And so it's a good thing to say, hey, you can travel the world and still eat really good food and be a vegetarian. Very cool. What about you, Seamus? Um, uh, we just finished our 100th episode of Castle. Uh, and we have a couple more episodes to go. And I'll have a hiatus very soon and have some time off to travel and hopefully do some other work. So, yeah. Fantastic. You're going to rack up the frequent flyer miles. You're going to be going everywhere. Cool. Yeah. Thank you so much. Happy cow. <laughs>